there, guys and ladies. This is Lakshmi in Mission Control. Let's check out what we have in store for you this week, shall we? It's been said that the best word to describe the Range Rover Evoque is beautiful. But is that it? What more? Find out as Dino tricks me into going off the tarmac. Next, what to do if your car overheats? And more importantly, what should you do to keep your car cool? Check out FIY. And finally, a rainy evening with a gorgeous Italian. Dino takes the Alfa Romeo Giulietta for a drive. Latest. Today's drive segment is totally groundbreaking because I'm working with two beauties. Beauty number one is my co-host, Miss Mission Control, Lakshmi Baker. Lakshmi, well, how are hello, you? Hello, Dino. Thank you. I'm very good. And hello, guys. You look ravishing. Thank you. You're ready for a day out in town, yeah? Very much so. Okay, and beauty number two, as you can see behind us, is one of the most beautiful SUVs this side of the world, the Range Rover Evoque. Ta-da! Well, what do you think about this car? Honestly, Dino, I don't think I've ever seen a sports utility vehicle this beautiful before. It's okay. It's lovely. It's ours for the day, so what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to take this beauty around KL for a spin and just going to find out what it can do. Actually, we are not. Because Lakshmi is all dressed up, all beautiful with heels and all, we are today going off-roading. No way. No way. Well, now we know this car will look great parked in front of any mall in any city in the world. But the question that we're going to try to answer today is whether the Range Rover Evoque is indeed a real Range Rover when you take it off-road. So Lakshmi, do you think this baby is going to be able to make it? Well, I think we'll just have to find out, won't we? Well, let's go and find out then. Come on, let's go find a nice pool with some mud and some bread in it. Let's go. Okay, so we are uh, going to see if this car can indeed uh, do some non-tarmac terrains. Now, let me take off my glasses so you can see my face. Okay, uh, this car comes, of course, it's a Range Rover, so naturally it comes equipped with multiple terrain selections. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I, I can see uh, a little pond up there. So, Lakshmi, yeah. ready to get wet? Are you wearing heels? Oh, we're going to swim? Yeah, about. I'm not wearing these heels out there, <laughs> Dino. <laughs> Okay, let's see if Lakshmi can stand on the side of a of an off-road car. Oh goodness gracious, there's All mud right, everywhere. Alright, not Woo. too bad. Well, mud. okay, as you can see, we are here in the middle of a mud pool. Uh -huh. I wish I could just throw, push her and she'll just... You wish? <laughs> I feel like I'm already in it actually. <laughs> okay, so this particular car uh, and across the range, it comes with a standard 4x4. Uh, and you, like I said, you can actually choose the terrain that you're attacking via the selector buttons. At the end of the day, this is a Range Rover, so it's no good if it's just pretty on the road uh, and you can't uh, do the stuff that a Rangey and Landy is supposed to do when you go off-road. But what we want to know, Lakshmi, is, uh -huh. you know, you're here, uh, city lass, oh. all dressed up and looking all glam and <laughs> in the middle of a mud pool. How does it feel to actually go off-road in something like this. It's kind of refreshing actually, do you know, because it's such a plush and suave looking car and then suddenly it's doing all this off-roady kind of thing and it actually manages it pretty well. Uh -huh. You know, the only thing is, while I was being tossed about, like I'm just like going to the left and the right, being thrown about, I wish that was a handle for me to hold on on the left here. It doesn't have that. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the because car doesn't have that. You can, o you can only just hold on to the, uh, the door handles. Yes, and, and to you. Yeah, and to me. 
So yeah. there are no grab handles and insides uh, because that's where instead of grab handles, you actually have the airbags sitting there precisely I know, right. right. There's airbags that. everywhere. Yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. But you just wish that you actually had proper. Grab yeah, I could grab the handles and not you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, now let's get out of the uh, off-roading bit and now let's get into the on-road capabilities of this car and it's a good thing that we did it just in time because as you can see the rain has finally fall, come down eh Lakshmi? Mm -hmm. Good Indeed. timing because otherwise we don't want a very wet Lakshmi Baker out on the door. No, better still, it's washing off the mud do you know? The That's mud right, yes. Beautiful the spot. rain is washing off the mud uh. so we will look less like freaks when we get back into the city. Indeed. But um, okay. It's washing off the mud because, and that's good because we get to see the beauty of this car when we go out. You know what? Normally, I don't comment on the design of the car, but I think, I think Lakshmi, uh -huh. we will be very hard pressed to find anybody that will be daring enough to say that this car is not a looker. Am I right? It is definitely, definitely a looker. It is so beautiful. It, to me, it's yeah. one of the most beautiful SUVs in any road on any road anywhere in the world uh, design wise you cannot fault it Definitely. the interior as what Lakshmi says is very very nice and actually plush when you're in it it looks like a sedan doesn't it, it doesn't feel like an it, SUV inside. exactly it doesn't yeah. feel like a utility vehicle with the great swabs of leather and different yeah. tones of leather as well and the yeah. seat uh, are also very uh, made of a very nice uh, material. So it's a good transition so there. It's a good transition yeah. point, exactly. Yeah, definitely. But for anybody who's used to driving sports cars, would probably feel uh, that this seat is not supportive enough, especially when you drive it um, with a lot of gusto, mm -hmm. which you probably will, because this in this particular car, the 2.2 liter diesel engine pumps out so. 187 brake horsepower. This car is very short and it's actually very compact. It's the one of the most compact cars in the compact right. SUV category. Right. So this car really drives like a car. In fact, this um, rotary uh, gear selector over here, uh -huh. which grad well, and it came from a Jaguar from way before, but now it's in the Range Rover Evo. It's cool, isn't it? It's that very cool. Uh, and after PRND, you've got an S there. So if you go into sports mode, this basically sharpens things up, throttle response, the weight of the steering. Cool. So everything is changed, just like how a sports car uh, you would do in a sports car. But let me ask you this. What? You've been in the car for a good couple of hours now. Yeah. Do you think that the size of the car overwhelms you? Actually, no. You know, sometimes as a driver, you feel the smoothness. You don't really feel the smoothness as a passenger. Mm -hmm. But I must say, I really felt the smoothness as a passenger in the car. This I could tell that it was really fluid. Despite that, it's me driving? <laughs> So guys, this is our final say on the Range Rover Evo. What do you think then, Lakshmi? Well, you know, aesthetically, I think this baby really is one of the most, probably the most beautiful SUV I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it definitely is really plush mm -hmm. and it's a smooth, smooth baby, even on the humps and the bumps. It uh, gives you a really smooth ride and the suspensions are awesome. You don't feel like you're being thrown about too much. It's, it's really good. So you really like, it's really comfortable, yeah? It is, it is, it really but, is, yeah. But, but, you know when you say you don't feel like you're being thrown about so much, I remember you screaming and shouting when we were it's doing something. It's because some I didn't <laughs> have the handles. If I had That's the, handles, the one thing that this car yeah, needs, yeah? Yeah, but even then, um, it, it catches you well. You don't really get too Flung much. Flung about, yeah? Too much pain in the back and all that. So it, right, it catches okay. you well. Well, if Lakshmi likes it, I'm sure uh, a lot of other ladies out there would appreciate either driving one or having, uh, you know, sitting on a passenger seat either with your boyfriend Persuading your other half. Persuading the other half. Well, speaking of the other half, I'm sure guys out there would love this car because it is, like Lakshmi said, just so beautiful. And the baseline is the Range Rover Evoque is a true Range Rover that can do everything that a Range Rover needs to do plus looking 
like a million bucks. We like it. Definitely, definitely. You we like it. We love it.